Hey, how are you doing? So today I'm doing a lawn renovation on a, a lawn that is very, very stony, very uneven, lots of dips. I want to show you around and you can see what it's all about. So we've got a selection of multi-purpose compost from B&Q. We have a bag of the Grow More. We have a bag of a different field, field number one from field compost. And then we've got a few bags of field number four in the green bags from field compost. Top dresser, mower, scarifier and aerator. Now, a selection of tools as well, garden rake, scarifying rake, leaf rake, leaf grabbers, spreader, another spreader, a compost spreader, a lawn loot, and we have the Lanzi aerator. Just because it's been in my van, even though I've got a selection of aerators. Anyway, let me show you. So this lawn, it's not bothered about the levels or anything. It just wants it all filling in and looking good. Because it's so bumpy and uneven, there'll be a fair bit of hand scarifying in the dips and other areas. But they've had a new fence put in and you can see there's a lot of bare parts all around where the fence was. There's bits of concrete. There's uh, all sorts there, bits of wood, bits of stones. And some dips here. Now, we did discuss levelling, but uh, he, he's not that bothered. He just wants it to look reasonable. So the plan for today is to get most of the big stones out and then we'll do the renovation and we'll leave it at that. That's pretty much it. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I can't go straight over now with the scarifier because it's going to hit some of these stones. So I'm going to go round by hand and I'm just going to hand pick them out get the rake, rake out of what I can, put them into bags, and then when I'm happy, then we'll crack on. I'm gonna get things sorted. Look at this, look at this. Now, we're not going for perfection here. This is what we got to bear in mind. So I'm actually just running the garden rake over and it's, it's preparing the soil pretty well. So I'm quite happy with that. It's loosened it all up. It's nice and fluffy. There are stones in, but I'm getting the big ones out and as many little ones as I can. That is the first stage and that had to be done before the normal renovation is carried out. Now, thankfully, the soil is very soft and very loose. I'll be completely honest with you, I am not happy doing this. And the reason I'm not happy is because it's really, really thin in places. Like here, there's pure concrete there and it extends out here as well. So a lot of this, although it would take will just die off. Thank you. 
Right, so we are now at the stage where we can start building it back up. We've taken the stones out, we've scarified to take out thatch and moss, we've aerated to relieve compaction, so it's going to perform better. Even if we did this now and walked away, this would perform better as a lawn, although it would be really thin in places. So I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny bit of autumn fertiliser on because it's got nutrients in there which are reasonably suitable for uh, new grass to grow in. Ideally, a pre-seed fertiliser, but it is reasonably similar to an autumn fertiliser where it is higher and heavier in nutrients for root growth, root health and stress in the plant. So that is what we're going to do. Now, you don't need any particular brand just any fertilizer. So you've got N, P and K values, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. The N is higher in spring and autumn. Basically you add the other two numbers a little bit higher and less nitrogen, which is the N. So I'm just going on a, a number two, a very, very light setting. Now I've done lawns over the years without a pre-seed fertiliser and as long as you water them it comes through it's not always necessary but it gets it off to a good start so that's that and the next stage is to get some seed on the lawn now because there's a little bit of shade I'm going to put a thin layer of shaded seed on this is from Horrell's Seed. Don't worry about where you get it from. They're all roughly similar. Grass is grass. Yes, some blends are genuinely more superior and it all depends what you're after. But I've always found over the years that most people are happy with just a standard grass. As long as it looks nice and it's green and there's not many weeds. If you want to get more specific, that is perfectly fine. But remember, you've got to then get the same grass seed every time you want to reseed and things like that. So it blends in and it matches. That is why I generally go for a, a normal amenity seed for most lawns, unless they've got a requirement and they want something a bit better. to go over once put a light put a light coating on the trouble with this being q compost and most compost is that they're quite clumpy and they can be wet so when there's a clump at the bottom of the dresser it stops compost from coming through because it blocks it which means we end up with thin patches so what i'm doing i'm just taking a handful right there's a clump I'm just breaking it in between my hands over any thin bits and that's all I'm doing. I'm just looking across the lawn now for thin areas and just putting a bit more on. So all the seeds I've got some compost on. So normally I would get my lawn levelling loot and just Go up and down across the lawn so it, it knocks the compost off of the top of the grass and works it down in and amongst the blades of grass so it falls to the soil level but because this is a lot of bare soil you run the loot over it's going to move some of the seeds so when it's bare soil i tend to just leave it and instead i'm just going to walk across with the brush the broom and look for any areas where there's clumps on top of grass and just gently work it backwards and forwards.
like so. So it's not moving it about. Now today is a good dry day, which is really helpful. When the compost is wet, it makes it a lot harder to, uh, to move it around and it gets stuck to your shoes. Now this compost is gonna break down over the next few weeks and you won't even see it in about three weeks. You won't notice it's there because it's been broken down and used. And it will do the new grass the world of good. And the final optional step, all these things add up and make a better result. I'm gonna put some wetting agent on. I'm not putting this on, this one's Roundup. It wouldn't be a good idea, would it, Roundup? The one I'm putting on is my own, called Emerald Green. And it's not just wetting agent, there's a number of other products in there that help with the health of the plant and help it with new grass. So when you plant seeds, you put some of this on and give it a good watering in and it will help the seeds to germinate um, if ever you get any days where you've not been able to water, this will still hold some water around the roots so it can help you through. These are available from our website, lawnwright.co.uk forward slash shop.